As authorities continue to search for a motive after a gunman tried to kill former President Donald Trump, President Biden addressed the nation this evening from the Oval Office, while Trump arrived in Milwaukee ahead of this week's Republican National Convention. ABC's Jay O'Brien has the details. My fellow Americans. President Biden addressing the nation from the Oval Office just one day after a suspected gunman attempted to assassinate his rival, former President Donald Trump. I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics. And to remember, while we may disagree, we are not enemies. We must stand together. The president calling for unity. But in America, we resolve our difference at the battle box. You know, that's how we do it, at the battle box, not with bullets. The power to change America should always rest in the hands of the people, not in the hands of a would-be assassin. Biden speaking with the former president Saturday evening, just hours after a gunman opened fire at a Trump rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. That suspect identified as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel, Pennsylvania. Sources tell ABC News that a short time before the former president took to the podium, local authorities were alerted to suspicious activity on the outside of the perimeter and we're in the process of looking for a suspect. I am aware that uh, law enforcement had responded to a number of reports of suspicious activity. Investigators are now trying to figure out how that gunman made it up onto the roof as Republicans get set to gather for this week's convention in Milwaukee. Former President Trump arriving, preparing to formally accept his party's nomination. The convention going ahead as planned, but security at the Pfizer Forum is tight. We are confident they, in these security plans that are in place for this event, and we're ready to go. In a post on social media, former President Trump said he considered pushing this convention back two days, but then said he didn't want to have a potential assassin force a change of his campaign schedule. Now, security is tight here in Milwaukee, but the Secret Service says there is no credible threat to this convention. In Milwaukee, Jay O'Brien, ABC News.